Praise the Lord. Slava Bogu. Praise the Lord, guys. Wow. All right. Um, how are you guys doing? How are you guys Good? Nobody died after the fast? No? I didn't see anybody's name in the paper. No? How was it? How was it, guys? It was awesome? Yes. Did somebody receive an answer from God? Yeah? Yes. Praise God. That is why we do it. You know, the Bible says that He is a rewarder, rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Amen. Praise God. Um, and so, guys, today I got a sermon for you. Um, and I believe this will help us in our walk with the Lord. So please pay attention. Um, and just, if you got notes, write, write them down. Uh, if not, just please remember this in your heart, okay? Okay, guys, so... Um, these past few days we've been fasting, we've been praying and seeking God, right? And uh, I don't know who came, who of you came to those prayers. And, uh, we, would, we would invite everybody up on the stage to pray for you. And, uh, and I would pray for everybody up here. And I was praying so that God would answer your prayer. I was praying that God would move in your life and, you, and His will will be done in your life. And I remember what I was praying for, for you. And this is how this kind of topic and their sermon became kind of formed. This topic is going to be on faith. And I, I was thinking, man, what should I name this? <laughs> I don't know, it's not very important. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name it. How many paddles do you have? Like yeah. How many oars do you have? Okay, you'll, you'll understand why. So, if you could open up Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It says, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. You know, here it says that we cannot please God without faith. So, when we take a fast and we fast for certain things to happen or change in our life, if we do not have faith, it is not pleasing to God. If we pray without faith, it is not pleasing to God. If we walk this Christian life without faith, God is not pleased. Because it says it is impossible to please him without faith. And so a lot of us were praying for, I don't know what you were praying for. Uh, you guys may be praying for a spouse. Maybe you're praying for a new job. Maybe you're praying for, uh, for God to direct you in the uh, career that you want to pursue. Maybe you're praying for healing or, or, or just for God to direct you in his will to be done or to hear his voice or get to closer to him, right? We were asking all of these things from God. And we were begging and we were crying and we were praying. We were seeking, we were knocking, right? We were asking God. But here it says, you have to ask with faith. In the, in the book of James it says, if you ask, ask with faith. It says, if you don't ask with faith, don't think that you'll get anything from the Lord. So do you think it is important to have faith? It's important, right? So, who, wants, who here wants to please God? All right. So we're going to talk about some faith. Okay? So, okay, let me, let me explain to you why I named it to, if, what kind, how many paddles you have. Okay? Really quick, before I get into actual the text. And James, we read, it says that faith 
Without works is dead. Написано, что вера без дел мертва. So it says, if a man thinks he has faith, but he has no works, can this faith save him? And I'll, I'll, I'll later get into it. But we need faith, and we need works. We cannot have faith and have works, or vice versa. So how many paddles do you have? You might think that, hey, I'm doing all this thing for the Lord, I have all these works. I'm paddling with one oar on this river, you know? But you have no faith. Or maybe you're the opposite, and you have faith, and you're praying, and you're moving mountains, and you're... But you're not doing anything with that faith. You're also just, you know, you're, you're in a boat making circles. You're just making circles. So I, by the end of the sermon, I want you to to understand that you need two paddles. You need faith and you need works. Because, um, because if you have one or the other, and Потому что у вас есть и то, и, но не другое. Но и то, и другое. У вас будет просто беспорядок в жизни, и ничто не будет иметь значения. Вы не life. будете понимать Бога и Его волю на вашу жизнь. So, okay. Давайте uh, вникнем в это. So, for us to have faith, Для нас, чтобы иметь веру, we first, first must come to God and, and believe that He is, right? So in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, 8, 9, and 10, it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are His workmanship, uh, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ибо благодатью вы спасены через веру и сиение от вас, Божий дар, не отдел, чтобы никто не хвалился, ибо мы его творение созданы во Христе Иисусе на добрые дела, которые Бог предназначил нам исполнять. So there has to come a time in our life where we come to God. We believe that He is. And we repent of our sin like we said today. We turn away from our, our old previous lifestyle and we walk the other way 180 degrees and by faith we do it because God says you have to believe in it you, you have to trust in salvation in Jesus Christ because there is no other way to be saved you must have faith in that and when you do that, you have faith. God gives you some faith. You know, the Bible says to everybody is given a measure of faith. But faith is like a muscle, it is exercised and, and it gets stronger and stronger. So when we get saved, we are no longer the same person we used to be or shouldn't be. Our faith should be our, uh, uh, our work should be a result of the faith that's within us. And here in verse 10 it says, We are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared before him that we Ибо should be able to do. You guys are understanding it now? So we receive faith from God. We are saved. But then we also receive faith from God. We are saved. But then we are saved. We are saved. But then we need to walk in this faith. We cannot please God with just sitting there twiddling our thumbs. I'm saved now. We cannot please God with just sitting there twiddling our thumbs. I'm saved now. We cannot please God with just sitting there twiddling our thumbs. I'm saved now. We cannot please God with just there's, the, you know, when I look at you, I can see fruits of salvation. You guys know that? Jesus said, you will know them by their fruit. It says, no evil tree can produce good fruit. Or an evil tree uh, produce uh, good fruit. Fruits of salvation will be evident in someone's life. So let's get to the text, the Давайте main text. До описания, до James chapter 2, verse 14. It says, What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith, but does not have works? 
Can faith save him? Or can that faith save him? Что позе, братья мои, если кто говорит, что он имеет веру, а дел не имеет, может ли эта вера спасти его? So what I've been saying all along, right? Все, что это все время это говорил. Here James is saying, what will the prophet somebody if he has faith and has no works to back it up? Что позе человеку, если у него есть вера, но нету дел, чтобы этому помочь? It says, can that faith save him? Может ли эта вера спасти его? Okay, so I was thinking of an analogy how to kind of present this to you all. Я думал какой-то о каком-то примере, чтобы вам это представить. And I had like two or three of them come to mind. So here it is. Мне где-то два или три примера, так что вот. So to say um, that you are a Christian. Сказать, что вы верующие. But I can't see anything Christ-like in you. Я не вижу ни что христо подобного в вас. It's like saying. Это то же самое, что сказать. That you're a chocolate chip cookie. Что вы шоколадная печенька. But you have no chocolate chips. Но у вас нету шоколадок. You're just fooling yourself. Вы просто обманываете себя. Right? Правильно? Does that make sense? И вам понятно? You cannot say you're a chocolate chip cookie. Вы не можете сказать, что вы шоколадная печенька. If you don't have chocolate chips in there. Если у вас нету шоколадок внутри. You're a different sort of a cookie. Вы другой сорт печеньки. So you cannot be a Christian. Вы не можете быть верующими. Have faith. Иметь веру. Oh, I'm saved. Praise the Lord. Ой, я спасен и слава Богу. But I have no faith, but I have no works to back it up. Но нету никаких дел, чтобы это поддержать. There is no proof of my salvation anywhere. Нету доказательства моего спасения нигде. You're saying, well, two years ago I prayed that prayer and I said, God, come into my life. Вы сказали два года назад я помолился той молитвой, Бог войди в мою жизнь. Oh, and I'm good. Praise the Lord. Все хорошо, слава Богу, я иду на небо. But your your parents still kick you out of out of the house to, for you to come to youth. Ну, родители должны выгонять тебя из дома, чтобы ты пришел на молодежь. You got no godly desires. У тебя нет никаких божественных желаний. Nothing has changed. Ничего внутри не изменилось. You're still the same old person that you were before you got saved. Ты тот же самый человек, который ты был до того, как ты спасся. You still curse and you and you still listen to bad music. Ты сам слушаешь плохую музыку и матюкаешься. You still flirt with everybody you see. Ты сам флиртуешь со всеми, с кем ты видишь. You're always trying to get, you know, get attention from everybody and do stupid things so people look at you. Вы постоянно пытаетесь взять внимание других и делать тупые вещи, чтобы кто-то посмотрел на вас. But here it says, can that faith save him? Здесь написано, может ли эта вера спасти его? What do you guys think? What is what is that saying? Что это говорит здесь? Что вы думаете? If the person just has faith and he's not showing it, what does that mean? Если человека просто вера, но он его не показывает, что это значит? That means he's not saved. Значит, что он не спасен. You guys agree? That person's not saved. Что этот человек не спасен. You can tell me you're a chocolate chip cookie all day long. Вы можете говорить, что вы шоколадная печенька весь день. But I don't see chocolate chips in your life. Я не вижу этих шоколадок в вашей жизни. I don't see I don't see you loving people. Я не вижу, что вы любите людей. I don't see you forgiving anybody. Я не вижу, что вы прощаете людей. All I hear is curse words and you're bitter and you're angry. Все, что вижу, это матюки, вы злые, вы обижены. If all I see is disobedience. Если все, что я вижу, это непослушание. How are you saved? Как вы спасены? How are you saved? Как как вы спасены? There's a lot of people saying I'm a Christian, I love Jesus. Многие люди говорят я верующий, люблю Иисуса. But they love the world. Но они любят мир. They get drunk every Friday. Они каждую пятницу напиваются. You know they'll sleep around. Они будут там спать. They'll watch pornography. Они смотрят порнографию. They'll do all these filthy things. Они делают все эти грязные вещи. They'll go vaping. They'll smoke marijuana. Они будут делать вейп, они будут курить травку. Oh, but praise God, I was saved two years ago. Слава Богу, я спасся два года назад. That's not salvation. Это не спасение. You know what salvation looks like? Знаете, как выглядит спасение? Who here knows what a caterpillar is? Кто знает, как выглядит? I got a lot of good analogies today. What you know what a caterpillar caterpillar is? Гусеница, гусеница. Wow, yes. Да, гусеница. What happens to a caterpillar? Что происходит с гусеницей? Turns into a butterfly. Она она превращается в бабочку. Has anybody seen a butterfly go back to a caterpillar? Кто-нибудь видел, что бабочка стала гусеницей? It'd be a miracle. What? You have? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I haven't seen it. Я не видел никогда. And I'm sure you haven't seen it. Я тоже уверен, что вы не видели. Because a caterpillar is transformed into a butterfly. Потому что гусеница превращается в бабочку. And it becomes beautiful. И она становится прекрасной. It starts doing the things it wasn't doing before. Она не делает те вещи, которые она раньше делала. It's not just sitting on a little branch now. Она не просто сидит на веточке больше. It spreads its little wings and it flies. Она распахивает свои крылья, она летает. And it does different things that it didn't do before, right? Она делает другие вещи, чем она делала раньше. Do we get that analogy? Мы понимаем этот пример. So if you come to Christ, если вы приходите к Христу, 
The Bible says that he that is in Christ is a new creation. You're a new creature. You're not just a caterpillar even going to a butterfly. You're completely different. You, gotta, you have a different DNA inside of you. Everything has changed. Everything is new. New desires. New plans. New goals. That is what saving faith is. That's what means you have faith. And that person is going to show his faith by his человек works. будет показывать свою веру своими делами. You know, saying that you have faith говорить, что у вас есть вера, and not showing anything to prove it и не показывать ничего, чтобы это доказать. You're like a car вы как машина with a dead battery. С мертвой батарейкой. You have the car. У вас есть машина. You got the wheels. У вас колеса. You got everything polished and chrome. Everything is washed, spotless, красиво, shiny. But you can't start it. It's not going anywhere. You got to push it to make it go anywhere. Because the battery is dead. There's no, there's no power coming to, to ignite that car to start. Guys, when we are saved, God, uh, by His Holy Spirit, He regenerates us. He changes us. And people can see that power alive in our lives. Amen? People can see that I am saved. This car battery ain't dead. It's got a whole lot of life in it, a whole lot of warranty on it. Amen? Amen? That's what it means to be saved. You got a new battery, you turn it on. And you're going places. And you're going, doing things that you've never done before. But you're not doing it this time to make people attract uh, attract people to yourself. But you're doing this to give glory to God. Praise the Lord. So let's keep reading this chapter. So it says, if 15, if a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, depart in peace, be warmed, be filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Если брат или сестра наги и не имеют дневного пропитания, кто-нибудь из вас скажет им, идите с миром, грейтесь и питайтесь, но не даст им потребного для тела, что пользы. Thus also faith by itself, if it, if it does not have works, is dead. Так и вера, если не имеет дел, мертва сама по себе. Faith without works is dead. Вера без дел мертва. Guys, because... Why well, I want to really make you guys know, understand this. Because many people think that I prayed a prayer one time and that's all I need to do. Somebody told you, pray after me and you prayed after them. And now you think you got a place waiting for you in heaven. And life's great, peachy. Everything yeah. But that's not the case. Let's keep reading. But someone, verse 18, but someone will say, let's say if someone's sitting here, someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I will show you my faith uh, by my works. So someone might say, man, this is kind of sounding like a, a, like a Mormon teaching or something. It's all about works here now. No, that's not the case. Because we're right with God. We are saved now. But now we are showing people that we are saved. We're not doing things to get God's approval. There is nothing that we can do to get God's approval. Guys, you understand that? You can't be good enough. Jesus had to come and die for you to be good enough. But now we live for him. Living out our faith, that's what people say. 
So somebody might say, oh man, I got a paddle, I'm good, I got one paddle. Кто-нибудь скажет, о, у меня одно весло, у меня все хорошо, я уже готов. Well, а кто-то скажет, у меня, о, другое весло, брат, все хорошо. But there's somebody, a third guy sitting there says, I got two paddles. А кто-то третий скажет, у меня два весла. And, and the guy that has two paddles, и то, и тот, у которого два весла, he's going to get somewhere in his life. Он куда-то достиг, дойдет в своей жизни. Five, ten, fifteen years from now, man, he's going to be gone. Пять, десять, лет, он далеко отплывет. He's going up the river, he's rowing, he's rowing, he's rowing. Он вверх по течению идет, он гребет и гребет. Those other two guys are, man, how do you, how do you do this, man? Like, как, как это делается? How does this all work? Как это вообще работает? Where am I going? Куда я иду? Is this making sense? Вам вообще это понятно? You know, there was a story of a lady where she was barren. She couldn't have children. And then one time, a, a person that prophesied came up to her and said, he said, here, in a ver- here very soon, you will have children. And so, After a long period of time of not having children. When God spoke to her, she just believed it. She just believed it. But then there's something that she did after she believed it. You know, she, after that she came home. She started cleaning out a room. She was, you know, packing things, making room, filling out stuff. And the husband was looking at her like, what are you doing? You're crazy. She's like, we're going to have a baby soon. God told me we're going to have children. Guys like, no, you're crazy. We're not going to have children. It's, it's done. And she, so, she, so she didn't listen to that. She went shopping. She bought a crib. She bought diapers. She bought bibs. She bought pacifiers. She bought all these things. She was ready to have a baby. But she didn't have the child yet. But you see, as time went on, it turned out that she did have children. And what God said would happen did happen. Brothers and sisters, that is the kind of faith that we need. We must pray and ask God and seek His face. Amen. But there are things that we, there are times when we need to go out and do things. You cannot say, God, can you please make my relationship work out with my mom and dad? and not do anything else about it. God expects you to get up and go make things right. And God will back you up. And God will walk with you. You cannot sit in your room and say, God, can you give me a good job? And, and not get out of your room ever. And still play video games and watch TV for hours. You got to get out there. You got to do applications. You got to send your resume out. Faith without works is dead. You can't just believe God will do something when you can do it too. And, and clearly God is the one that's going to bless you for it, right? God is the one that ultimately makes it happen or makes it not happen. But you cannot sit there and just say, God, take care of it all. I'm going to do my own thing for you. You know, like, if, for example, if you're broke, you're just praying, oh God, would you give me some money? I'm so much debt right now. You pray about it. But you get up and do something about it. If you're a Christian, and you profess Jesus is my Lord, and if we sing song I, uh, to, for uh, that, Jesus, to you all I surrender, and you're going and living your own life, what kind of faith is that? What kind of a Christianity is that? The Bible says that you are bought with a price. And you are no longer your own. You're a slave. But you're a willing, you, you, you willingly are a slave. So, I got a whole lot to say, but we're going to keep moving. Verse 26. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead. You're just a dead corpse. 
мертвое тело. И вы ни, никого не, не, uh, не обманываете. If you're just laying, if a dead person is laying there, I don't, you don't need to tell me very many things about that person. I just know he's dead. Если труп лежит, ты не должен мне что-то говорить. Я знаю, что он мертв. Well, but just give him a second. He's about to breathe right now. He's going to do. Oh, дай ему пару секунд. Сейчас, сейчас он будет двигать рукой. Сейчас он будет жить. Он будет дышать. No, he's dead. Нет, он умер. There's no life in there. У него нету там жизни. And so, if you're a Christian, если вы верующие, and you have no works to back up your faith. нету никаких дел подтвердить свою веру. Something tells me there's something wrong with, with, with between you and God. Что-то говорит мне, что что-то не так между вами и Богом. Something tells me that something's not right with you. Что-то говорит мне, что что-то не так с вами. There's something happening here that shouldn't be happening. Что-то происходит внутри, что не должно происходить. Because you're cold to, to the truth. You come to church and, and you just you're you're black everything out. You can laugh, you can talk, you can do whatever you want to do. Вы смеетесь, разговариваете, можете делать все, что вы хотите. When God is speaking a word to you. Но когда Бог говорит вам слово. And he tells you to examine your life. Говорит, осмотри свою жизнь. This is a, a life and death situation. Это ситуация жизни и смерти, вопрос жизни и смерти. Do you know guys t- uh, Okay, we got like 40 people here, right? Did you know that 40 out of 40 are going to die? Знаете, что 40 из 40 человек умрут в этой комнате. Sooner or later all of us in this room are going to die. Раньше рано раньше или позже кто все в этой комнате умрут. And there's thousands of people that die every day. И тысячи людей умирают каждый день. And we and we like to lie to ourselves and say, "Oh God, later, later, later I'll come to you." И мы любим гадить себе говорить, "Боже, я позже, я позже приду к тебе." And that is a lie from the devil himself. Just wait, just wait, live just your life. Just подожди, wait. живи своей жизни, просто жди. No, but the Bible says if you hear his voice, today is the day. Библия говорит, если вы слышите его голос, сегодня день. Today is the day to change your life. Сегодня день изменить свою Today is the day to say, God, I only have faith or I only have words. Сегодня день сказать, Боже, у меня только есть вера, у меня только есть дела. I only have one paddle, I need two paddles, Lord. У меня только одно весло, мне надо два весла, Боже. I don't want to go without any paddles at all. I want to paddle. Я не хочу плыть мне надо эти весла. Praise the Lord. So guys, I got a lot more to say. But I want to read one more place. John 15:5. Guys, bear with me, please. We started a little later, so this is this is okay. This is okay. John 15:5. Jan 15:5. I'll just read five through eight. Okay. Jesus here is saying. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch, and is withered, and they gather them, and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Okay? How is God glorified in our life? What does the last verse say? How is God glorified? When we bear much fruit. When we bear much fruit. You know, one more analogy. Have you ever seen an apple tree? A healthy, good, very, you know, nice looking apple tree. Kind of sitting there and wiggling its branches and forcing something out like an apple to pop out. Have you ever seen something like that? I have never seen something like that. If you've seen something like that, we've got problems, okay? We're gonna pray for you. But we have I have never seen that before. It just happens naturally, right? It's a healthy tree. It's got enough vitamins, it's got enough water, liquids. And the apples are just starting to come. There, there's so much apples, it just starts falling off. Everything around the tree is apples. apples. Jesus says, if you abide in me, you will bear much fruit. People think, well, at Christianity, you're going to have to, well, that, that means I'm going to have to start trying really hard and stuff. No. 
the Holy Spirit is going to start doing things in your life through you when you spend time with Jesus and then you get up in the morning and you go to work and you go to school you are going to bear much fruit and you're not even going to know it because it's going to, something natural is going to be happening in your life Blessings are going to come. People are going to see your faith. People are going to know that is a Christian. And, and at times you won't even have to open your mouth. Because that is the Holy Spirit that's going to do it you. Amen. Praise the Lord. So guys, today I would just like to pray with you all. And I want you just to remember the things you were praying about. God, give me this. God, bless me there. God, God, you see, there's a time that we wait. And while we wait, we pray and we seek the Lord. But then there's a time where we pray and we seek the Lord. And we do something about it. If you see... If, if you're a, your spiritual man is really weak, if you've got no faith, if, you're, if you see that your life is not right with God, you pray about it and then you do something about it. You don't just leave it up to somebody else. Nobody else will do it for you. Your parents can't do it for you. Your grandma and your grandpa can't do it for you. You must do this yourself. But with the power of the Holy Spirit, anything is possible. Anything is possible, guys. Any prayer is possible to get answered. Any disease can be healed. Any need can be answered. When you, when you abide on the vine. When you abide in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Guys, let's just stand up on our feet.